some help picking the winners for this weekend. John, a little tiny sports betting expert, has got some of the uh, latest installment of Child's Play. Yes, exactly. Nothing like using a five-year-old to gamble on sports. Uh, but that's what we're doing, guys. We, we were off last week. Uh, I was I was quarantined with COVID, but we're back now. <laughs> All right, game one, Texans at the Ravens. Last year, Houston was one of the worst teams in the league. Now they're two wins away from the Super Bowl. They're pretty good. Yeah, they were underdogs last week against Cleveland. But Browns quarterback Joe Flacco, remember, he's 38 and he's Joe Flacco. And he was sitting on the couch six weeks ago. <laughs> I'm not kidding. He, did, he was not in the league six weeks ago. <laughs> this Cinderella run came to an end. Meanwhile, Baltimore is the top seed in the AFC, and they might be the best team in the league mm -hmm. right now. Quarterback Lamar Jackson is the runaway favorite to win MVP. In fact, he's such a heavy favorite, Ron DeSantis finally dropped out of the race. Yeah, he was running for NFL MVP. Stop. Yeah, but a bad showing in the Iowa caucus on that is when he finally. That anyway, it. yeah, I was it. He's no longer running for NFL MVP. Uh, the Ravens are favored by nine at home, and here's the child's play. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right. Texans and Ravens. Who do you like? The Ravens. Okay. It's giving up a I lot like of points. I like it because it has a bird on it. Yeah, a bird. <laughs> I mean, that's as good a reason as any. I love right? that reasoning. Yeah. I do. All right, game two. Niners hosting Green Bay. Packers fans still celebrating their big win over the Cowboys in the wild card round. Right. Jordan Love looks like he's going to be the next great Packers quarterback following Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre. So, Jets fans, get ready. In 2034, he's all yours. Because... <laughs> Favre went to the Jets, oh, and then I see. Rogers went to the Jets. Oh, I see. I personally can't wait to find out what Jordan Love's toxic trait is. <laughs> Maybe he stops the toxicity cycle. I don't know. We'll see. Meanwhile, it feels like the Niners have gone into the witness protection program. By the time they hit the field on Saturday, they will have gone three weeks without playing a meaningful game anywhere. Now, here's the thing. I'm used to doing nothing meaningful. <laughs> this is going to be different for them. So there's a chance the Niners could come out a little bit flat in this one. Still, they are favored by nine and a half points at home. And here's the child's play. All right. Packers and 49ers. Who do you like? Mm. Oh, Green, Bay. Green Bay. That's right. You know that's Green Bay? Should I be she's, concerned my daughter knows the Packers are from Green so Bay? She's getting so big. She knows it's Green Bay. Should I be concerned? Do I, am I watching too much football around her? Is that? I mean, I'm going to say no. Okay. I'm sure it'll come in great on her SATs. All right, game three, <laughs> Lions and Bucks. These are great days in Detroit now, right now. The Lions won a playoff game for the first time since 1991, erasing 33 years of despair. Now, the Lions, of course, are owned by the Ford family of the Ford Motor Company. Oh. Imagine if you worked in the Ford plant mm. for 33 years. Your boss has ruined your life five <laughs> days a week and then again on Sundays. <laughs> but no more. Oh. Things are going great now. Now, much of the nation is in the grips of an Arctic blast right now. And that includes Detroit, where the forecasted high on Sunday is 24 degrees, which is warmer than it has been, but still mm. almost 40 degrees colder than Tampa Bay. Mm. And I can only assume that's why a local Tampa station sent a reporter oh. out to ask the hard hitting questions. Oh, no. Any special plans to acclimate the team to not only uh, endure, but perform in those kind of frigid temperatures should you face them in Detroit? You do know we play indoors, right? And they got a dome. Oh. oh, boy. I mean, maybe she was asking about walking from the bus to the stadium. Okay, now you said she's not a sports reporter. Like she she's not. That's no. not her normal gig. No, she's, uh, yeah, I, rumors are she's one of the morning anchors there. Okay. But the little secret of the TV business, uh, sometimes when there's nothing to cover, they go, why don't we localize a national story? <laughs> And that's why you don't. Now, if you didn't know, by the way, the Lions play in Ford Field, which is indoors. They've played there since 2002. Mm. Before that, they played in the Pontiac Silverdome. So it's only been 50 years since they played a home game outdoors. But uh, yeah. uh. whatever. Anyway, the Bucks now have to prepare for the climate controlled <laughs> conditions in Detroit now. But nobody expected the Bucks to even make it this far. However, they thoroughly beat the Eagles last week. And now the question is, are the Bucks good or do the Eagles stink? Oh. 
Vegas thinks it's the latter. <laughs> Did you? She clutched her pearls. A gasp. I don't think she's even listening. I think that was something else. Oh, oh, I thought it was Tracy. No, was you. yeah, it was the man. Because you talked about the Eagles. Oh, you an Eagles fan? <laughs> oh, see. Well, tell her this. It's not me. It's Vegas who thinks that the Eagles stink because the Bucks are six and a half point underdogs in Detroit. Here's the child's play. Okay. Buccaneers and Lions. Oh, Lions. No hesitation. Because it has a lion on it. And the new Lions, right? You gotta get the performance. Too. <laughs> the, the, uh, gotta get the performance, not just the. She's so you know, cute. Value added here. Absolutely. All right, final game: Chiefs and Bills. There was a lot riding on this game, guys. We're down to one Kelsey in the playoffs. Oh no! Yeah, Jason Kelsey <laughs> announced his retirement this week after the Eagles lost, mm -hmm. which is leaving us with just Travis. <laughs> Ask yourself this question, guys: Are you prepared for a life without the Kelseys? Are you? so aggressive. Savor these moments because when they're gone, they're gone forever. <laughs> Who am I kidding? The Kelsey's are not leaving anytime soon. They might not play football, but they will find a way into your life. They'll be in the now, after, after limping through the regular season, the Chiefs came back to life last week. They played the Dolphins when it was 30 below, but still a win mm -hmm. is a win. And mm -hmm. now they're on to Buffalo. They have to go to Buffalo, but to be fair, nobody chooses to go to Buffalo. <laughs> In this case, the NFL is making the Chiefs do it because the Bills are the higher seed. This is going to be Patrick Mahomes' first ever road playoff game. Can you believe that? Wow, really? Yeah, they've always been at home. Huh. The Bills, though, are favored by two and a half in Orchard Park. Here's the child's play. Okay, Chiefs and Bills. Who do you like? They're both red. Yes, they are both red. I like the Bills. The Bills. Because <laughs> they have a buffalo? Yeah. Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> 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 so, concerned about that too? That what this is telling us is she watches football while eating Buffalo Wild Wings. She has never been to a Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, a, a wing has never touched her lips. <laughs> I feel, I feel like that's telling a totally different story. Perhaps this is a sign that I need to expose my daughter to more to culture else. other than just football <laughs> on the weekends. All right, so to recap, we're going uh, oh, Baltimore man. minus nine, Green Bay getting nine and a half against the Niners, Detroit giving up six and a half, and Buffalo giving up two and a half. So she likes the favorites a lot this week. Okay. Except for the Niners. Don't yell at me, yell at the five year old. Do not yell at the five year old. <laughs> We'll be right back. Somebody has to, because Lord knows I don't. <laughs>